going to be reviewing the relationships between digits that are the same in a number. Okay, so the example we have here is we have the number 5,547. In this number, there are two digits that are the same. You have five in the thousands place and you have five in the hundreds place. Okay, so we wanna figure out the relationship between these two fives. We have to think about the value of those numbers. So the five in the thousands place, the blue box, is worth 5,000, that's its value. In the green box, the five is in the hundreds place, so it's worth 500. Now, what is the relationship between these values? Well, we know that 500 and 5,000 is a really easy number to multiply by 10, right? Because they have the same digit in the front of the number, and then it has some zeros after it. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 500 by 10, which gets us 5,000, okay? So when we have a place value chart and two digits are next to each other and they're the same, you're going to multiply by 10 to get the value of the larger number. So when we multiply by 10, that means the larger place value is 10 times larger than the smaller place value. So in this example, 5,000 is 10 times larger than 500. So the first five is 10 times larger than the second five. Let's look at another example. So I changed our number by moving around the digits, and now the number is 5,457. So my fives are no longer next to each other, but I still want to figure out the relationship between them and their value. So this five that's in the tens place, the green five, has a value of 50. The five that's in the thousands place in the blue box has still a value of 5,000. So they're two boxes away. Bump, bump. You go over two places in the place value chart. And when you do that, the value is not going to be 10 times as much. It's going to be 10 times 10 times, which sounds a little bit confusing. But when you think about it, you can multiply 10 times 10 pretty easily. We know that when we have a number that we multiply by 10, the digit stays the same and we add a zero. So 10 times 10 equals 100. That means that the value of this first five is 100 times greater than the value of the second five. I'll say that again. The value of the first five is 100 times greater than the value of the second five. And that's because it's two places away, two jumps away in our place value chart. So that means it's 100 times greater.